Welcome to Photo Tofu, a channel for all things photography. My name is Duck Nguyen and I'm a portrait photographer in the DC and Northern Virginia area. Today I wanted to do a very quick unboxing of the new Godox X1T S trigger system which is made for the Sony uh, mirrorless uh, camera systems. So this is uh, pretty exciting. I ordered this uh, on eBay and came uh, within seven days from China. So pretty impressed with the shipping time on this. And uh, I'll be sure to include some information about the uh, vendor, the eBay vendor in which I bought this from. This is the fastest I've ever received anything from China. So I will share that eBayers information for you. I mentioned this in a prior video that Godox has introduced a new uh, trigger system for Sony, which is something that we've desperately needed. There are a number of sort of workaround systems. Photix makes a trigger system, but their uh, trigger system, I believe, works with only their flashes and strobes, and they're, uh, in my opinion, pretty pricey. This setup right here with the X1 TTL uh, trigger for the Sony system, this, P this part of the um, trigger system goes on top of the camera, and then I've got also some additional um, receivers that will go onto my Adorama uh, Streetlight 360s. Without further ado, let me see what's going on inside here. So, okay, very basic um, stuff here. Got a manual. Um, um, looks to be pretty. Uh, done pretty professionally, um, much better than most of the stuff that I've ordered from China. Um, packaging is pretty basic as well. Um, just sort of a first um, uh, glance, I mean, it looks like the construction on this is not um, too bad. Um, and uh, I won't get into, uh, I won't get into all the um, features until I've had a chance to actually test this. But so this goes on to the um, Sony A7, A, um, A7 series or uh, any of their mirrorless, mirrorless cameras and uh, just to show you looks like here we've got the um, uh, there we go as you can see here this goes on to the multi-interface um, shoe for the Sony cameras which is um, which is not really nice again I mentioned Photix uh, having an option but um, I've also had other uh, triggers that were made for the A-mount um, cameras that I've been using, some Chinese products, the uh, Pixel Kings, Pic Pixel Opas that also can be used to trigger flashes and uh, do high-speed sync on the Sony mirrorless cameras. But this, um, this is nice because this is designed specifically for the um, uh, A A7, um, uh, the mirrorless camera systems uh, for Sony. Um, so I don't have to put in a bunch of adapters and you know it gets it starts to get really clunky when you have to adapt all these devices and I just like to keep things simple so this is um, this is very exciting for me and uh, so you pop this off and it looks like it takes two double A batteries uh, which is good um, I carry a lot of double A batteries for my uh, flashes so um, no new uh, types of batteries to worry about so that's the trigger they are coming out with an X1 R, uh, which is the receiver for the Sony, which um, it will look like this is a little bit smaller from what I can tell. You can actually attach your Sony flashes or, or um, uh, any flashes with the multi-interface um, um, foot into the receiver. Again, this is the this is the trigger, and the receiver will have an R. That's not yet available, um, but it also will allow you to attach um, the receiver to. Um, you know your your studio strobes. So I plan on using this with my uh, Flashpoint um, Rove Light, uh, using this trigger, and then when the receiver becomes available, I'll buy that. Now, for what I'm trying to do now um, is to be able to use this trigger with my Sony camera to trigger my uh, Flashpoint streak lights. Um, I have two of the two of the 360s, and so I found this set on eBay that included two of these, uh, which is the XTR16. So, if you uh, use any of the, uh, uh, if you use the Flashpoint, um, so if you use the Adorama uh, Streak Light or um, the Godox brand or any of the other ones, Cheetah, um, there it comes in a bunch of different um, labels, but essentially it's the same 
flash technology. Um, you replace the uh, old uh, receiver, which is a 433 uh, uh, hertz, um, with this 2.4 gigahertz, and this trigger will talk to this receiver, and um, should allow you to use uh, high-speed sync on the street light. That's the hope. Um, I know that Adorama will be putting out their own versions of this. However, that's not yet available, and this is a little bit um, more uh, cost-effective. I think I save a few bucks uh, on this. In any case, um, I'm going to try this out, uh, test the high-speed uh, sync functions, and uh, just overall uh, performance and see how it works. I'll uh, make a video on that, and we'll share with you the results. So that's it for now. Keep on shooting, and let's keep on sharing. Thanks.